Okay, and welcome. Today we're going to be discussing how to simplify MLM sponsoring and build a team fast. Now, sponsoring may be something that you thought originally, especially when you're new, you think it's going to be a little more easy than it is. And it turns out not to be that way. But today, I believe if you follow what I'm going to share with you in this video, you will. Uh, discover it's more simple than people make it out to be and i'll show you how to simplify the mlm sponsoring process and of course once you do that you'll be able to build a team quicker so let's get moving first thing to do look at is what most people do wrong and that would be they are uh you, you know leading with hype they are you know making it unattractive through the way they post on social media. Uh, I know you've probably read blogs where it, it looks like it's obvious that person is just wanting you to buy, sign up, buy, sign up. I see that a lot with, especially with new people. Of course, they don't know any better. They believe if I share the excitement that I have about it, others will be excited too. And it doesn't work that way it got to be valuable or people are not going to um they're they're, they're just not going to be interested so if you're doing that that is the main problem why you're not having success in mlm spring it's because it looks too hypey spamish rubbish you know whatever you want to call it it's not attractive and what you want to do is attract the people to see it and, and, you know, see the benefit and the value in it. So what we're going to look at is the right way. And basically that little word right there in the middle of the screen and that puzzle piece describes it. You got to present your product or your opportunity as a solution to a problem. Once you flip it around and no longer present it as what you want people to do because that's the way a lot of facebook posts blogs are when you read it it's just about telling you how to make the person that wrote the content how to help their business you know you got to flip it around to where your content is more about how do i help the person that's reading it you got to be a solution to the problem and on my blog which there will be a description uh, I mean, a link in the description below to access it. But in the in my blog, I've got some examples of Facebook posts on how you know how the wrong ones are written. I wrote out a wrong one, and then with the same concept in mind, rewrote it to where it would be the right way. So you got to focus on the right way. And there's really just two main important factors in MLM sponsoring, and we're about to uh, get into that. But remember, the overall concept is to present your product and opportunity as a solution to a problem. And then you can sell a lot more product. You can get a lot more leads. You got to focus on generating leads. Your Facebook post needs to generate leads, not get signups. You know, you don't want to post and expect people to join through that post. You want to make a post and the the idea is to get people messaging you and talking about what it is you have that's the idea and I, I give some good examples on my blog so go check that out you also must work your numbers now you gotta not only do you need customers you know uh using your product as a solution or you can use your business opportunity as a solution but uh in most cases you know um if your product you know uh stops paying then you want to start posting things that uh, are related to pain and how it works and maybe some results you want to keep that going and that will bring in new leads but usually especially in the beginning it's not going to be enough so you're going to have to work numbers believe it or not you're going to have to direct prospect 
And the best way to do that is to reach out to other network marketers. Perhaps, you know, a lot of them are open to new things. Some of them don't work in a company anymore. Maybe their company shut down. Maybe their team's not, you know, they quit because they weren't getting anywhere. You want to aim for entrepreneurs or any kind of independent, like real estate agent, uh, maybe a small business owner, store owners, or professionals like doctors, uh, you know, people like that, it, because they they like to make money, apparently. You know, they like to stay busy. They like to make money, and they're willing to put money into making money. Those kind of people are what you want to look for. Don't worry with people who don't have jobs. A lot of people make the mistake is they start calling everybody they know that doesn't have a job and needs money. Well, if a person needs money, most likely there's a reason. And you don't want to reach out to people who can't invest in a business. And let's face it, if, if they probably don't want to work. A lot of people don't want to work, and that's why they don't have jobs. Okay, So reach out for people who stay busy. That's the mindset you need. And to be honest with you, for me, I find in genealogy leads, reaching out people who have been involved in MLM at least once in their life makes the uh, number ratio really good. So what you want to do is focus on maybe reaching out to 10, 20 people a day, uh, present your opportunity to, or just ask them if they're open to taking a look at a side project. And if you were to do that 10, 20 people a day, you're going to build a team quick because you may get four or five presentations out the door every day and you know start signing up a person every few days and that's the idea you got to work your numbers and keep the focus on getting the numbers and the the team will build itself it really will and if you stay consistent with it, it it'll start to duplicate as well because people will start to copy what you're doing also use a source of paid advertising and a lot of people try to avoid it i've met many people that they don't want to invest in advertising which is kind of weird because you're already investing in the business so you need to invest in some sort of paid advertising and just pick one and take one source and don't be afraid about losing money okay you're going to lose money and you're when you first start. So you got to focus on getting it better. And, you know, once you're at least breaking even or making profit on, on almost every campaign you run, then consider a second paid advertising source. But you want to get the first one to kind of pay for itself or to, um, you know, financially be able to keep doing it. And when it starts bringing in enough money to keep doing it, you add another one, but take one at a time and focus on getting that one better before you jump into another one. So uh, that's going to really, really help to get more people for you to work those numbers. And remember, if you're not generating enough leads because, you know, it's called passive uh, if you put a Facebook post out there, even if you do it the right way, like I explained on my blog, that doesn't mean anybody's going to respond. Sometimes they don't. All I know is more you're going to have more chances and you're going to see more response over a period of time doing it the way I'm sharing with you. And when these people reach out, of course, you already know their their problem. You know that you have the solution and you can work with them from there. But sometimes you're going to fall short, even with paid advertising. Some campaigns don't pull in the leads they normally do. So you're going to have to jump on the phone and go direct working numbers, doing direct prospecting. And here in a minute, I want to share with you exactly what you need. If you don't have enough people to talk to 10, 20 a day, that problem is going to be over. It, that problem will be solved in this video. So let's move on. If you do need more prospects to sponsor, check out the description. There's a link in there to a system that I use that will send you 
new prospects uh, without having to purchase them. So if you've ever purchased leads, you know, you know, usually you'll buy a hundred, uh, it's like $300 for a hundred leads. You work those leads, if, even if nothing comes out of it and you need another hundred people to speak to, you got to pay the 300 again. Some of them are up to 500 for a hundred leads and never is it promised that they'll produce anything. In this case, with what I do is I use a little tool. I got a link below to it. It's like $15 and you get leads for life. You work a hundred leads. If nothing comes out of it, it's okay. You've lost a little time, but you can get a hundred more and not have to pay for it. So you're getting to prospect people without having to use any money in purchasing leads. I would never purchase leads from a vendor. I, I would never do it again. So that system is perfect at getting duplication and keeping presentations flowing out the door to new people. So check that out. I think that would be very helpful for you to help you with the uh, with help to help you with working the numbers, at least that part. So if you want um, what I'm doing now, there will also be another link for one more thing will be. If you would like to see me doing all this, everything I discussed in this video, I will do it for you and build you a downline. All you gotta do is click the link at the very bottom of the description. It's gonna take you to a free tour. You're gonna check out a little system and then just sit back and watch. I'll be bringing in people, signing people up, and these people will be long to you okay this will be like your customers your downline and if you decide you like it and you like the team i'm building for you you can stay no problem you can stay work with me and we can get it going really big for you so click that link take the tour let me build you a downline okay don't forget to subscribe and uh, click that little bell that notification bell because i am doing a series of videos right now where i take you day by day showing you the numbers i work because i'm working the numbers like i explained in this video and you'll see how i'm getting a sign up and, and in one day i even got two so at least every video a new person signing up on almost every video so you can check that out and follow it and kind of model it if uh you're happy in your business and you want to build a different business it doesn't matter it'll still help so uh, be sure to subscribe now and I will get catch you guys on the next video.